are peacekeeping talents the most overpowered talents you can use when doing behemoth fights in call dragons stick around and find out as we are going to go in depth about talent builds artifacts peacekeepers and everything else related to know what works and what doesn't work when doing pve behemoth fights in this game hey everyone zoaz here from casuals and today we're talking about peacekeeping peacekeepers and everything around it against behemoth fights specifically in call dragons so as many of you including myself have taught before peacekeeping does not work on behemoth right it says excels at fighting darkling and dark creatures and when we go into the artifact you know it gives peacekeeping damage uh, damage dealt against darkling and dark creatures and when it works in behemoth uh, for example it says behemoth only here so it is safe to assume that if it doesn't say behemoth then anything peacekeeping related shouldn't work right well, it is true for many things, but not everything. And I have done a lot of testing to showcase exactly what works and doesn't work. Uh, first, artifacts, very easy, get out of the way. They do not work at all. So peacekeeping damage here does not do anything as behemoth. Uh, this buff does not do anything as behemoth. So if you are fighting behemoths, you do not want to use this or anything that gives peacekeeping damage. If you're fighting behemoths, you want an attribute, most likely going to be offensive, you want attack so magic unit attack legion attack this is the best artifact for mages in the game as well as the damage here has nothing to do with behemoths or peacekeeping or anything it just works on everything right um other artifacts that are very decent you know for example the time bomb works perfectly fine and if we go for archers for example heart piercer uh, marksman unique attack legion attack uh you know all of this works perfectly fine against behemoths but everything peacekeeping does not so if it has peacekeeping here do not use it it's completely wasted now a few other things worth mentioning here would be that uh, you can see this one and this one for example they are peacekeeping artifacts they do give peacekeeping damage but the effect does say behemoth only so the effects would most definitely work against behemoth but the peacekeeping damage here from all my testing has shown to not work at all now for me to showcase this to you we're gonna go into some reports that i have saved from my fight against behemoth this is the electric rock the thunder this is the thunder rock as you can see and i have gone into the battle log here and expand all turns so on this fight specifically i was using the peacekeeping artifact that gives a buff um the one that we just talked about basically kurata's wrath you can see here um, after if you turn i activate my kurata's wrath now here what is important to look at is that my lilia with my 64,000 ish troops has launched a normal attack and i have done 147 units of damage right now I use this Kurora's Rat, I do Wolf Pack, everyone gains peacekeeping damage for 10 seconds. Up to here, pretty straightforward. Now um, we're going to go to the next one and see that my Lilia has done exactly 147 damage, the exact same as here. Uh, so it says takes effect on the next turn, this is the next turn, but let's just go a little bit further here. You can see peacekeeping damage was increased by 20% due to Lilia's Wolf Pack. So this here is one turn. You can see from the 6 seconds to the 7 second, this is one turn. Now, in this turn, I definitely had the buff because it says so here. But my damage did not increase. Here, 147. The exact same thing. Did I have the buff? Yes. My damage did not increase. Now, before the buff, 147. 147. And even here, 144. The, the reason it goes up is because it's surrounded. Now we have 2% more damage because of that. So it is quite interesting to see. Uh, you can clearly see that it does not work, right? 144, 144, 147, and I have the buff, 147, 147. And then if we go all the way up to when the buff runs out, and here we are, uh, peacekeeping buff, one second. So here I'm doing 144 damage again. Uh, again, it varies because of the surround or not, because in this fight you have to move around a lot. And we go back to basically this, I have the buff, 144. Next turn, I don't have the buff, 144. Next turn, still don't have the buff, 144. Uh, and now it goes higher here because uh, there is quite a lot of stuff happening in this fight. I'm getting 20% attack because of Satyr's Curse, which is basically uh, the orc mages. Uh, when they are around you, they buff everybody for 20% attack. Uh, so while this is not related, if you are doing Behemoth's fight, make sure that your group has mages from every faction because they all give a buff like this uh, orcs give 20 percent attack mages uh, from humans give 20 percent hp and the elves give 20 percent defense and it's an aoe around them so you want to have quite a few mages in your fight even if 
Marksmen are actually higher DPS for behemoth fights uh, and everything in general for PvE. Marksmen are just stronger damage because they are higher damage units. Uh, so going back to here, of course, I think it's pretty clear that the peacekeeping damage does not work. It's just not doing anything. Uh, we can see damage doesn't change no matter what. So I think it's fair to say that peacekeeping damage as a stat does not work against behemoth. So when you see something that says peacekeeping damage, it is simply not something that works. Now, on the other hand, when we go into the talent tree, uh, the peacekeeping talent tree specifically. Now, of course, this is going to work. It's attack. But this one, your legion deals 5% more damage to darklings and dark creatures. And things like this, uh, your legion deals 10% more skill damage. And there's also things like this. Your legion has a 10% chance to gain 20% rage when launching an attack against darklings and dark creatures. Now, the rewarding never changes. It's always Darklings and it's always Dark Creatures. Same here. And even here, there's a Darklings and Dark Creature percentage damage. Now, this one is by far the best uh, talent that you can get. 10% chance when doing hero skill damage uh, to cause a 400% damage factor every 5 seconds this can occur. Now, hero skill damage happens when they cast their ability, uh, but as well when you have Scorch on them every second for five seconds which basically means you have scorch on them almost permanently with someone like lydia this procs a lot again i have a report to show you so here let's look at this now this is again a report against the thunder rock to show you that it is indeed a behemoth it is the elite behemoth because he has 2.5 million hp so it's the very hard version and you can see my stats here i still have the peacekeeping damage 20 percent from her talent and stuff but nothing much has changed but now first exact first turn zero zero one my talent duet was triggered now i did 263 damage to the thunder rock obviously i do 109 auto attack damage and here i'm doing 263 now how is that possible if this says only darklings and dark creature well the thing is it works i don't know why because obviously it shouldn't because it is a darkling dark creature but it is not peacekeeping damage so it seems to me like the game is a little bit uh warded wrong for now meaning that Darklings and Dark Creatures is including Behemoth in the case of Talents. Uh, so, quite interesting to see. Uh, the reason that I'm doing so much less damage than the other report is because this is the Elite version. The other report was on the Normal version, which means that the boss has very much higher defense and higher uh, statistics in general, which makes me hit less uh, hard. So, if we keep going down here, um, basically 7 seconds later, I have another duet. It crit for 400 damage. Uh, so it's it's very high value because uh, it's almost four basic attacks and you know it's every few seconds if we keep going you can see here do it again 320 damage and okay i could go on it happens you know dozens of times during this fight and adds up to quite a lot of damage so one last thing i want to go over this battle log as well uh, this is a battle log from yesterday when i had a different build i was testing basically uh, all the damage is killed so again duet thunder rock right it's a behemoth it's clear duet triggering 375 damage great damage now here is the one i want to show fighting spirit 10 percent chance to gain hate rage when launching an armor attack against darkling a dark creature i am obviously launching an armor attack against a thunder rock and i am obviously gaining 100 rage uh, there is no doubt about this so as i said these talents do work against behemoth it is not a question now of course, it is hard to test exactly if these also work, this 5% here and this 3% here. But from my testing, where I went into the fight having, uh, I was basically full magic and skill, and then doing the exact same fight with the exact same units and the exact same artifacts, but doing the talent all the way up here, um, my results were actually vastly different. Now, things obviously changed in the alliance, there's more buffs, all that kind of stuff. But if I go to some of the reports from uh, yesterday when we did them on normal mode, um, you can see that it's a lot of the same players, uh, but I am all the way down here in damage. So I didn't change anything. I played the fight the exact same. Um, I've done this fight many times now, and I really cannot see anything different other than my talents. You know, it's for the a vast amount of difference that it is, where I'm going from the 19th spot to the 7th spot using T2 and T3 units, it's really just the talents is the only thing I can say that explains such a vast difference in damage. Because even if the guild has better buffs and more technology, everybody has the same thing. We're all in the same guild. So it really has no difference there. Um, I have quite a few of these fights where, you know, I do decent damage. Uh, I'm in the middle of the pack every time, 18,000. 
and then all the fights from basically the next day where i changed my build i'm in the top seven over and over like here i'm number seven and then here yesterday i'm number seven again with almost the same damage um basically i can't see anything else different than the fact that i respect and went into peacekeeping and it's really the only thing that i changed so it's quite interesting there's also quite a few alliance members with who i have shared this talent tree and they have seen a significant increase in damage they even messaged me about it telling me like wow what the hell i changed my talents to what you did and i did so much more damage than yesterday um so you know uh, obviously it's gonna require more testing to know exactly what works but i can guarantee you that some of these abilities do work against darklings which would make sense for the rest to work and when we're talking about this 5% damage here, 3% damage here, and these extra damage is way more than you'll get from any other tree. Because the trees that give, you know, 2% attack and 3% attack and some of these abilities that are nice and stuff, uh, it's really the percentage damage bonuses are worth so much more than attack, defense, and percentage like that. It's really just not even close. So for my Lilia, of course, I went all the way to Duet and... Uh, I didn't go all the way into the peacekeeping because these are garbage. Uh, this has absolutely nothing to do with the Hemet and does absolutely nothing. The X-ray item reward, I've tested it. Um, it's mostly very, very low value. It's nice if you're going to do a lot of Darklings, but uh, other than that, it's such low value. It's like a bit of resources. Sometimes get lucky and get like a purple star, which is okay, but like it's, you know, it's just not very valuable for anything else. And then this is a heal, which is great uh, for some Behemoth fights where you're going to take damage because uh, my guess is that 95% of the chances this will work but it doesn't help you in doing damage whatsoever uh this is another five percent damage though this could be very very strong to go for as well as this one a uh, 10 percent chance to gain rage um, and then here you get a little bit of attack or move speed which is always great for fights like this uh take less damage from darkling dark creatures and this is another like uh, inflicting a slow and defense bring on the target now this i can't test i can't really know if this works against behemoth or not uh, but in any case, I went for the skill tree here because uh, this is way more pure damage for a march like Lilia Velen, which is what I'm using, uh, meaning that uh, I'm going to do way more damage on my skills. And, you know, 4% more skill damage here, uh, as well as some extra rage generation here and more attack. In my opinion, this is the best build that you can really go for, having these two abilities with Lilia as a mage march against behemoths uh, it's hard to beat and then when you get higher level you can try and go and complete this tree and get this and maybe this or you can you know complete this tree or complete uh, all the way up to here to get something like this which could be good uh but you know for now this is really the focus more testing is going to be required to know exactly uh, the best tree in the game uh, but i would say you won't go wrong having points in peacekeeping uh, especially for things like this and things like this which is you know 10 percent skill damage is huge like this is eight percent on the next skill this is 10 percent all the time just, i can't keep going over this because it's really just insane so if you're playing mages lilia peacekeeping skill build is going to be hard to beat now this ability here i have not been able to test properly because obviously it's hard to test because you have to fight and then the next fight if you have to put a talent tree and then see if your damage went up um so i'm going to need to do more testing but my guess is that it would work because of the warding it is not peacekeeping damage. You are gaining 20% more damage to Darklings and Dark Creatures. Uh, so talking about Guanwen, she is going to be the peacekeeper of choice. If you don't want to have mages, um, marksmen are much better. You need mages for the buffs, but marksmen are much better because the unit type has more damage output just simply. It has lower range, but higher damage. And all of our abilities here work really great. Skill damage to one target. And then this is basically going to do skill damage every second for the entire fight because this will almost never run out. And again, the peacekeeping tree with duet will mean that this will trigger very, very often because you're doing skill damage every freaking second. Um, again, here you can go for different things. I went for more normal attack damage instead of the skill damage because uh, archers do more normal attack damage than mages by quite a bit. And she is a normal attack booster as a hero. Uh, so is Kanara, who I'm pairing with, which is by far the best combo. Nico could also work there, of course. But I think one win again with you just need to get the duet at least it's really something you can't pass on and then you can choose if you go into precision for uh, some of that which is again decent these are very decent both of them there's nothing wrong with them or you can go on this side and gain like a big attack buff um, i went for this side because i really like uh, the four percent skill damage here and the five percent uh, more damage here which is just raw damage and then here attack every stat here is great everything is great as opposed to this tree uh, some of these choices are not as good but in the end there will definitely be 
very very good talents on both sides and again you can also probably go all the way up here to get five percent more pure damage which is also very good so we're gonna have to do more testing so make sure to subscribe to the channel because i'm gonna keep testing on this as i get higher level to unlock all of this and test properly but i can guarantee you that if you're using a peacekeeping hero like guanwin or lilia as your primary and you are going to spec into peacekeeping damage and use an artifact that has no peacekeeping damage uh, this one isn't great, by the way. If I was to do PvE content, you don't want defense, you want attack. So this would be better, even though the buff on this one is great. Uh, this will just boost your unit further, and you want this higher level, and with all the stars to get as much damage on your archers as possible. As well as if you have a legendary one that does the same attack percentage here, it's going to be better. There's so many good artifacts or marksmen. Uh, you just use whatever you have that has attack on it that works for your unit type and has no peacekeeping damage, and you'll be fine. But one thing's for certain, peacekeeping talents do work and they do a big increase in damage make sure to get this one especially uh, because it's free in everybody's foundation talent and then you know a few of these test out yourself see how much better it works for you if you're using peacekeeping mixed with another talent tree uh, for your heroes and please use guanwin and lilia as primaries when fighting behemoth use the right artifacts on them and you will see that your damage will go up because mine definitely went up by quite a lot and I was just starting to test it out. So a lot more tests to come for everything else. Uh, this is also something I'm going to test out for sure. One last thing I want to mention as well is that everything I've just talked about here works against Behemoth, but also in the Dragon Trail. I haven't tested the Dragon Trail as in depth, but I can guarantee you that in the Dragon Trail, a lot of the peacekeeping stuff does apply and does work. So I am not exactly sure why and how it works, uh, but my guess would be that anything that works on Behemoth works in the Dragon Trail as well. So this could help you get a bit further in Dragon Trail. If you're stuck, try using Peacekeeping Heroes like this. The artifact I don't think works, uh, but again, it's hard to test because there's no battle report in there. Uh, but everything else does definitely work. Uh, some of the abilities in the talents do work because I've seen an increase myself as well. Um, if you guys have any questions, as usual, make sure to ask in the comments. And if you've had anecdotes about your Peacekeeping damage, and you have seen some uh, testing yourself and have seen some results, make sure to share with me as I am happy to make another video and highlight that as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.